What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Demo Mario Brothers Music! So it seems to be a beef here in these YouTube streets. Stop the show. <laughs> it's probably these Rumble streets since Fresh and Fit got demonetized. Uh-huh. Dusty! Ooh. But DJ Academics has just covered it, and it's a beef between Joe Budden and Fresh and Fit. Now, because the way Joe Button's podcast works, it's hard to do reactions to his stuff because he copyrights everything. But pretty much Joe Button said that Fresh and Fit were broke without YouTube. And DJ Academics covered it in his stream about a response that Fresh and Fit both made to Joe Button. I'd like to take the time right now to play that clip. You guys, in the last episode, he said that you guys were broke without YouTube. I think it's time you address this clown. No, 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 no. We we still broke. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Uh, number one, I'm not uh, doing anything weird with my dog. Uh, number two, we surpassed <laughs> him on YouTube. Number three, he's a failed rapper. No one gives listens to fucking mood music. Number four, he's emotional. Number five, he beats on women. Number six, people that work with him don't respect him. He went ahead and turned his back on people that helped him build up his podcast. Right? At the end of the day, bro, Joe, you can say whatever you want to say, bro. I uh, here's the thing. I've just been on. I, I probably have a similar or close to net worth as him, and I've been in the game for only three years. I invested my money in real estate, bro. That's appreciating. I don't know if you did. I don't know what the fuck you doing. But at the end of the day, bro, like I said before, haters gonna hate. His music sucks. Okay, to be fair, Myron is really good at real estate. Um, whatever money you've thought they have made, like let's say you think he's made three million dollars from YouTube, he's probably two and a half exited by some of the really smart decisions he's made. Trust me, like he's a he's he's one of those guys doesn't like. Let me tell you this: anytime like he moves like a white man, he actually he moves like I just can't say you know what I'm talking about. Doesn't gamble, doesn't drink. Doesn't waste money on, on on designer clothes. He only takes every dollar he gets. He don't buy no. Well, he, he has a watch, but it's appreciating. Value. He doesn't buy nothing that doesn't appreciate. He don't buy luxury cars. He don't buy nothing. He does the fucking show in the studio. Trust me, if Myron made $3 million, his net worth is probably like close to seven or eight right now. 100%. And, and I'm just throwing out those numbers. Like, I think they made more money than that. Way more. more, more. I'm just being honest. The nigga's really smart with money. Um, one of the few people, I, I think he's even smarter with money than me. Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, this, this, he don't spend on shit, honestly. He turned his back on the people that built him up in the first place. No loyalty, no fucking respect. And, dude, look at his views on YouTube. They're they're trash. No one watches this nigga, bro. Literally no one watches him. <laughs> like, what the fuck? We've been on YouTube. Only thing I, 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 see, I got to stop and I got to be fair all around. Joe Budden has cultural impact. Um... And that's not indicative sometimes in views. Um, but when Joe does say something, the reverberations matter more than the view count matters. I'll say that. So for three years that we absolutely cl- like eclipsed the Joe Budden network. And listen, in Joe. every way. Listen, Joe. How the fuck do you help men, Joe? Like, honestly, real talk. What do you do? You gossip and talk about music all day. How are you helping men? How are you creating an impact? Real talk. How are you? He helps himself. You got two random dudes, a former Fed and some dude from Barbados, surpassed you in relevance and helping men, saving more lives. We slapped you on YouTube. You've been on this shit for plus a decade plus. Dude, we're a household name. What are you, bro? <coughs> the fuck is a lame like? old nigga? And add it to that as well, bro. You talking about our business, bro? You have no idea what we do behind the scenes. So. F- she didn't say that. Nigga said we don't got nothing without YouTube. Like, yeah, bro, bro. Nigga, we, bro. we like I said, we're on other platforms. We invested our money. Like, what the fuck? Like, I can say this, is a- Joe. Okay. At least I don't hit women, bro. <laughs> on camera, yeah, too. You, yeah, you, you an L, You're bro. a woman beater, bro. Nigga, you beat women. Wow. Like, that's an L automatically. You want to sit there and say, y'all are misogynists and assholes. Nigga, I have never once raised my hand and attacked a woman. So you're an L automatically. I don't give a fuck what you say. Yo. You can sit there. At least we say what it really is, and we tell guys the truth about women. You literally beat women. Get the fuck Joe out of here. Joe is a low-value man. Men, I hate women are low value like you, bro. Yo, Joe Budden, Joe Budden women. Yeah, bro, like this nigga out here, but head legit, head 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 women. women. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, man, yo, slapping bitches, trying to tell us what the fuck it is. Like, yo, you out, yo, 
He's just all he does is virtue signal to women because he knows he's a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, he has to. He has to. You Bro. literally have to be a bitch to women because you know for a fact you fucking assault them, you beat them, you sexually harass the women that work for you. Like, nigga, what oh, the fuck? Oh, yeah, fu and she quit because you were harassing her, bro, because you're a weirdo. You're a perv, bro. You're like, like, legit, I understand. Doing shit with your the dog. desire for women, but, bro, bestiality with dogs, hitting women. <laughs> like, nigga. you're all around. <laughs> you're an L all around. Bro. And I would be happy to tell you that shit to your face. Actually, actually, chat, chat, we're getting off YouTube. Everybody come to Rumble. Everybody come to Rumble. Bring it all in, man. We're bringing it to Rumble. Everybody at Rumble. Let's get it, man. We're going to finish the rest of this video on Rumble. I got two more topics after that. Shit, I really gave y'all five hours today, man. I'm really putting in work today, man. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Okay, so um, if you're watching this, go to rumble.com slash academics. I will see you all on there now, okay? All right, let me get off of that. Get off of that. YouTube, see it, Rumble. There, there we go. Perfect. Back at it. Phase two. The fuck out of here, man. These fucking hating ass dudes, they're, they're jealous, Yo, bro. You're, you're kissing we me never family, said bro. anything about you negative. This motherfucker's been talking shit about us for fucking years, bro. Yeah. So again, you guys here, Myron, he's acting real tough, talking about, you know, if you guys want to come to the gym, you know, you can be held accountable and all of that. But I mean, that's very interesting because when Allende came into your house, I mean, you wouldn't grab the gun. Pussy. And he wasn't trying to do all that. So, bro, like, I don't know where you're getting off of. You know, you're going to beat the hell out of somebody or whatever. I mean, bro, like, you you, you, you sound, um, it, it sounds good on on, on, on on YouTube and all of that, right? Uh, none of these guys are going to fight because it doesn't just make any sense. So, we just need to stop that now. The reality, as a YouTuber like myself, who used to, um, you know, be cordial towards Fresh and Fit, was when they started talking shit about Kevin Samuels and some of my other YouTube buddies behind my back, that's when I drew, drew the line. So we're not gonna act like you guys are out here innocent when you guys are snakes. That's the fact. So if you wanna fight Joe Button for that, you should need, need, need to hit yourself, all right? Cause you guys are slime balls and you guys are backstabbers. I have proof of that and you guys are snakes. You would do anything for money. And that's interesting because you're saying that Joe Button is the same person. And I believe that he probably is. Yes, Joe Button does have a history of beating women, but he's trying to talk about this, like fresh and fit. These guys are saying, um, look, well, you know, we surpassed this person in the platform and look at what we've done. And he's jealous. Firstly, you guys got big by literally begging other people to come onto your podcast. All right putting OnlyFans models onto your podcast and kicking them out. It wasn't like people really cared about what you had to say as a cultural impact to what you're saying. You're helping men, so you say, and you might do that, but Joe Budden is a hip hop podcaster. You're not even in the same genre, all right? He's the greatest hip hop podcaster that has ever lived. You guys are doing something that is very, let's say taboo. And while it's entertaining, there's no way you're on the level of Joe Budden culturally just what he does, all right? You go, you guys go viral for saying offensive stuff and putting on Ku, Ku Klux Klan's hats on and all kind of stuff. That's what you guys do. That's not what Joe Button does. And, and Joe Button is a simp to a certain degree, but if we're gonna be real, Joe Button is a cultural icon. He is the highest paid, I believe, podcaster on Patreon, and he's been doing it for years, almost a decade. You guys just got in the game for sure, but a lot of folks have blew up in their red pill at the same time, like Jess Pearly things, who's also a grifter. So we're not gonna sit here and act like if you guys had to do it the same way that Joe Button did it, you would get big in hip hop because you wouldn't. You needed ass, titties, and everything's in the seats to get to where you're at because you just guys didn't have the talent to do it. So that's just something you can't deny. Joe Button as a podcaster paved the way for even guys like you and he might not be the best rapper in the world, but hey, Joe Button's one of the best to ever do it. Let's be fair. But to be honest, let's get back to this tough talking. You're gonna, you know, put people in the gym and beat the hell out of them. I'm, sh I'm like, I'm like, 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 bro. Th th just think about all the fighting. Just take that out of the thing because it's not gonna happen. You guys are where you're at because of you. How much of a woman can you be to be mad at people for criticizing you? We're clearly making mistakes. If you didn't make those mistakes, nobody wouldn't say anything about it. Now, you're saying, well, sad music, we don't ever bother anybody. And these guys are always, they need to be held accountable. Like all that anger, bro. Like, you know, <laughs> what does that have to do with anything, bro? Like seriously, 
You guys are the snakes. You cheated a lot of YouTubers like shit behind the scenes. People in the community know about it. It's a fact. They are not lies. It's the truth. Now you're out here upset about it, bro. It's just deal with it as a personal issue. All it is, you wouldn't say it to my face. Bro, we literally saw Yende break into your house and you didn't even want to catch those hands from him. You went and, get and picked up your gun, all right? When you went and got your gun, and I know you were startled, but he was trying to fight you. You didn't want any of that. So you've been going to the gym. So obviously, if people you feel that can fight, you don't want those problems. So maybe because you feel like Joe Button doesn't fight, you want to whip his ass. I mean, it seems like you didn't want that when Allende broke into your house. So let's not act like we're the tough guy. All right. Because there's, there's plenty of dudes out there that, you know, that would love to, you know, give you that work. That's not Joe Button, I'm pretty sure. And you probably don't want that. And probably somebody from the African-American community. So let's not even talk about that because it's silly. The, the main thing is this. These guys and people who have commented on how fake you guys are, you guys put it out there. You guys did it, so guys are commenting on it. But to be fair, you guys did create something that's interesting, but you're not on the same level as Joe Button because look at how you had to do it. This is the, it's like saying Andrew Tate or are, are, are a white supremacist, not to say that he is, but a white supremacist has like 5 million views on YouTube. I mean, of course he would, or, or subscribers, because look at what he's talking about. And you guys are the same thing. You guys talk about ridiculous things, so of course you get views. That's why you got demonetized. Anybody who would talk about things in a way that would get them demonetized, of course they would get a lot of subscribers because it's unrealistic. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do. Scare the bell. We're out.